You've got, and I want to be clear, for the purposes of the court, you've supplied me with the dog's medical record. Mm -hmm. Can I see that record, please, the original? Thank you very <coughs> much. <laughs> Dr Victoria, do you have a copy of this? Yes. Judge, I do. Thank you very much. And everything looks fairly normal in terms of weight. Uh, the testicles of the dog had descended. Mm -hmm. Muzzled off. <laughs> and then, if we turn over the page, the next thing it says is, no more diarrhoea. What do you make of that note? I'm afraid it doesn't make sense, Judge, because the date on the bottom of this first sheet is the 10th of August when a wormer was dispensed for the owner to, um, or breeder to, to use on the dog. And then it goes suddenly talking about diarrhoea when there's no, there's no connection. And there, unfortunately, there isn't a date on the second page. So we don't know when that was. Looking at this, would you agree with me? It looks like somebody has decided to cut the bottom of it off. That's what it looks like, Judge. Mm -hmm. Have you done that? No. Is this a complete and original record? Yeah. Did you cut the bottom of that record off before coming no. to court? No. Looks odd, doesn't it? It does. Thank you very much. Why does it look odd, Kevin? Too small. Too small? Have a look. You may not know what's happened here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this is your witness, Kevin. Hmm? Yeah. I can see a jagged like cut at the bottom of that piece of paper. What does it look like to you? Like it's been cut. With what? Scissors. No, I don't <coughs> Kevin? Hmm. Well, I haven't cut it. There's nothing there what was on there to be cut it's off. It's half the size. Now, it's very difficult to ask a gentleman about size, but trust me, <laughs> sir. Before coming to court, you cut that document, didn't you? There's nothing on the document what I cut off. So, yes, you have cut that document, haven't you? Well, there's nothing on the bottom of it. You cut the document yeah. with scissors. And the bit that you cut off... But nothing on it. Nonsense. Just for a second, you imagine that you're, <laughs> I don't know, someone terribly intelligent and brilliant, like Judge Rinder. <laughs> what do you think your ruling would be? You be me for a second and I'll be Chris. Hello, Chris. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes. Would you like to go for a drink after the show? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm not talking a rubbish bar here. Yes. <laughs> What's that bit? <laughs> Goodness me, it's, it's, it's like having a doppelganger, isn't it? <laughs> we'll wait and have that case in due course. Understood, Rob? Yes. Now, Rob, I wish you the best of luck with your impressions. Thank you. <laughs> I don't hold up much hope. <laughs> Defendant Mike Senior says he owes nothing, as he raised his son for the first five years of his life and offered him a place to live when he was 16. What are you doing with it? You can smirk. Uh, is it Mike Senior? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And uh, Mike Junior? Yes, Judge. Uh, Mike Senior, I had a message from uh, one of my court staff that you said something before I sat in court. What was it, please, Mike Junior? What are you doing here, you little... Say it to me. <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah. How old are you, young man? 22. You think that's a reasonable thing to say to your son? Do you think it's reasonable? No, no, I ask the questions. That's the starting point. Do I think that's reasonable? Yeah, I do. You do? Yes. Oh, we'll go on a little journey of discovery, you and me. Are we? We're in court. Do you understand that, Mike Senior? Yes. 
And so when I'm talking, you're not. And the same for you. Mike Senior, you tell me, how many children have you got in addition to Mike Junior, please? 40 and counting. Sorry? 40. One, four, 14. 40. Oh. 40 and counting. People shush me, right? I'm, I'm 56 or so. Talking! I've got so many kids left inside me, so I'll keep going. <sighs> Carry on. Whose responsibility is it to care for your children after you've had them? Is it mine, is it Michelle's, or is it yours? It's mine and the mother's. There we are. We agree. When Mike is concerned... Talking! Certainly not you, as. I agree. With how many different women do you have 40 children? I don't know. You can't remember? No. Or it's not one woman, she doesn't live in a shoe, I presume. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have thought so. You must be working all of the hours God sends to co-provide for your children with, the, with these women. Correct? Nope. So you help me with what you do to co-provide for these children. Right, can I start with this one, Maya? With Mike? Let's start with Mike Jr, yeah. I looked after Mike from birth to when he was f maybe four or five. I bathed him, I changed him, I fed him. Same with his brothers, same with his sisters. Now, when he went into, into foster care, I seen him every week without fail every single week. He decided that when he was seven or eight, he didn't want to see me no more. Your reply to Mike Jr. is, I don't owe you anything. No, Correct? I don't. You, you frame your legal case. You tell me what you say in reply. When I was a, dr a drunk, it was all right for Mike come up, to come up to me and say, Dad, have you got? And because I was drunk, I've given whatever's in my pocket. He's asked me for lender fiver, lender fiver there. Now, he, he failed to tell the court how, you know, he's been on, on his right? You know, he had nowhere to go, and he comes to me, Dad, put me up. The only time I ever turned my back on him, when he was doing drugs. How yeah. many times have you been married? Three times. And when you asked these women to marry you, at the relevant times, were they all conscious? Right, first off... <laughs> Before I marry any woman, I tell them that I'm not going to be faithful. I can't be. Oh, no, 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 see, that, no, 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 I want to get that. Right? I want to hear you. I need to understand this. What is it you say to these women before you... You see, some people say all sorts of romantic things before they propose. I want to know, Mike Senior, what you say to your prospective fiancés before you propose. You were just telling well, if me. If you had listened to the first time, you, you would have heard No, me. no, no, no. I... I'm giving you an opportunity to make submissions a very, very fair and generous one, and trust me, it's difficult. Actually, Michelle, do you mind? I'm worried I'm going to throw it. <laughs> I, and I'll throw it back, pal. Oh, no, you see... Oh, I will. Let me tell you. I will. There's Take your my first word strike, and I haven't banged it. Well, that's On cool. the second occasion of interrupting me, I'll assume it was a burp, and on the third occasion, there'll be a loud round of applause as you're thrown out. Do you understand? There you go. Mason, have you ever borrowed things from Kane in the past? Let's leave this Of course, because he's my sibling and he's borrowed stuff from me, so what that sort is... Of, what sort of stuff have you borrowed from him in the past? Um, for example, that tracksuit. Right. Um, which wasn't returned. <laughs> jeans, etc. And he's borrowed stuff of mine, but I don't get mine back because this is on his disgusting floor. Well, have you ever borrowed things from Mason Kane? Yeah, but always returned it back. Right, is that true? Has that he... is not true, no. Well, you give me an example of something which he hadn't returned to you. Well, I actually did have my Armani um, shirt and he borrowed it, never Just got it back. Just pause for a second. Just because you put something in air quotes, it doesn't help. <laughs> Do you understand? Well, it helps he me. He borrowed it. Did he, <laughs> did he actually borrow it from you? He borrowed it from me, yeah. And it right, came so back with a Right, so just pause for a second whilst we have a small discussion there, Mason. So why do you say he borrowed it? How does that help? Well, because I'm just exaggerating my words, Rinda. You think that that's acceptable for you to talk to me like that? Well, you could speak to me like that, so I guess so.
<laughs> now, Mason, this is my courtroom, and that's your first and second strike. And your brother's brought you to court here today for what he considers to be a serious amount of money for him. Because he says, amongst other things, that you have a woeful attitude. That's his complaint. Do you think we're here having a laugh? Do you think I don't mind you speaking to me like that? Well, obviously not. Obviously. You understand? I understand. Do you understand? I understand. You do not have sufficient evidence. I also take the view, because you've repeated it on several occasions, that given the opportunity and the time, you could go back home and find evidence yep. clearly demonstrating that she posted something to that effect. I want to be clear. I'm only interested in an utterance relating to the cleanliness of the business. Yep. Consequently, at this stage, I am adjourning it for seven days. Sir, during the course of that seven days, if you are able to produce that evidence, I will hear the case again. Well, just going back to Maria. That's a challenge yeah. and an opportunity. It doesn't make sense, so... You're, so you're, thank you very much. No, Go see, away. Listen you, to me, sir. No, it doesn't make sense. Listen so, to me, no, sir. Makes sense. You have seven days to go and find the evidence. If you bring the evidence back, you're going to... You have a very good chance of win... Look at me, sir. No, Stand over there. It, if you can if you find the evidence, you second. can win your case. It, I know, but What's I What's the problem? That? Because she's, she's, you're taking her piece of paper, her invoice, as gospel. Hold on. You've got a witness statement. You've got CCTV footage. You've got a cave which is double the size. How can it possibly? It, it, only to common sense. It can't, can't be possible. You're doubting my common sense, sir. No, I've given you seven days. No, but I'm Go and get the evidence sense. and come back. It's common sense. Get the evidence and come See, back. You, believe... you could win £5,000. No, I understand that, but you believe her piece of paper. You listen to me. I've sense. been practicing in this business for nearly two decades. You look at me. Well, um, Be quiet. What evidence Be quiet. have you got to, to talking? To prove a I have dealt contract. with thousands of cases. You need to understand the law. You left this business, I'm afraid to say, in circumstances where she was not properly supervised. Have you? She was. As, the, be my quiet. partner was there. It's as on here. Have, it's as, on here. Thank you very much. She was there saying it's not. Would you like the seven days or not? If you bring you back your case, I'm giving you an opportunity. I just, I just can't understand. Would you like the seven days or you, not? You're believing her. Would you hours? like the seven days or not? Let me speak. Though. Would you like the seven days you're, or not? You're believing her. Would you like the seven uh, days or not? No, not really. Fuss. Just waste of time. This. Maria was awarded two thousand four hundred and ten pounds of her original claim. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.